I kind of want to, you know, now that I drove by it one more time, it's like, I have to look. Just oh, have to. Yeah, it looks quite large. It's the same size as that, but bigger. It's the same size as that, but bigger. <laughs> ah, these are deep thoughts by little Jim. It looks a lot big, but bigger. <laughs> to get this front diff that's exploded yanked out of the old AT. So, I'm gonna do this job in a little while, so bear with me, but uh, one step at a time. Chowdered. Yeah, she looks minty. Yeah, uh, problem is shearing, right? So, and you can see we shoot a bunch of them. Which one was first? Who knows? And whether or not it was one of these that backed off, or if one sheared first and they start backing off. But you know, usually when they shear, they get lodged up between and pop out the holes in the case, right? So, all right, there she is. She's a 2021 XMR front diff. And we got to squeeze her into there. And then we're gonna have to figure out some wiring, uh, which I'm gonna have to consult a couple of professionals on that one. Can you imagine? Jesus, you missed that, boys. Finger tight. Yeah, and, I, and I've always bought my car. As per usual boys, the camera died on me, so I got her all wrapped back up though and give her a little fresh coat of paint here and there for the bumpers, you know, touch her up a little bit anyways, but she's looking pretty mint. The new diff, the 21 diff, right there with the full locker is stabbed in there. Now I got the harness kind of routed and up and out of the way for now, um, but your visco is going to kick in, right, with the other actuator, so yeah. This should be interesting. So right now we can run it with a Visco. Um, and then we got to get this wired up. Like I said, we'll get an accessory uh, lead or whatever the hell you want to call it. And get this uh, wired up. Positive ground. However you got to do her. Which I will consult the techs at Bay Marine on that one. But uh, I got to order up a switch. And uh, another thing's set, man. We're running the brand new. We're running the brand new. Now, if you guys recall the last time I... Taking out the rear diff, we had switched to the straight cut gears on the rear, so we had an upgraded rear diff, and it's still holding up strong, too. So, um, 
And now we're going to have an upgraded front diff. 21. Here we go. Kick ass. So I'm just going to test her out here. It should be interesting. Throw the old 4x on and see how she steers with the old open diffage. But uh, I'll give you guys a peek in the morning when I got... Because uh, now I figure I might as well take this as backup. We'll run the B. But uh, it doesn't hurt. There's a big ride tomorrow. So I figured at the very least if I can get this one up and running. And that's why I did the diff swap same day as fixing up the axle on the B just to ensure that we get to enjoy the day with the folks for as long as we can so yeah I think I'll throw this one in the trailer as well I will have to uh oh wrap some plastic or something around the end of that uh, harness and uh, elastic it off it should be fine with uh some saran wrap or something of that nature you know what I mean and pack it full of dialect grease and uh and wait till I get the switch so I'm waiting on a bunch of switches. I've got uh, a bunch of lights and stuff to go on this thing, but I, I, I didn't like the switches that come with it. So, get some proper, um, you guys know, rockers, rocker switches for this thing, or um, that company again, oh, Jumpins, not Kemimoto, now that I'm seeing them, but another Chinese uh, Oxbeam, Oxbeam lighting. So, they said they wanted, they have these little pods they're going to send out, and it's a control pod that, uh, you know, you can use six six functions on it so i don't know if we'll mount it up here or something like that and uh have the whips and stuff running off of that but i figured i might as well wait it out it's probably a week in the mail and uh anxious to see how this goes man really for sure but uh i'm sure it'll uh should be entertaining man all right we'll see you guys in the morning for a wicked ride too i'm sure cheers to be in the skag yet had some swamp runs, but. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to take the old girl out. I really would. Really? I was wondering, how do they mount? <sighs> this is a boosty bottle. Yeah, but I'm not riding this one today. I'm not. <laughs> I just stuck the diff in it. I haven't even broke. That's the other thing. I just brought it. I just brought it. Yeah, I just brought it. Well, well, no, it's back it's off. What if I blow an axle or something in the first half hour? I'll ride this one today in disco. I don't care. But I, I stabbed the new 21 diff in it, and I haven't got a chance to get a rocker or get it wired up. I just finished last night. Is this the one you did the clutching right on there the other day? Uh, was that video doing the clutching. I was one of the bikes you were putting. You I think it was uh, STM, and then you put some other. Uh, there were two different well, kinds yeah. of primary, secondary. Oh, but, uh, that would have been an older video you must have caught. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, probably a couple weeks back, maybe Jerry's bike or something like that. But uh, this yeah, one's STM yeah, and, uh, and uh, QSC for the primary. <laughs> it works, man. And 34s, and it pulls on everything. No, that that comes with your weights and your your flyweight setup and all that shit, right? So and your springs and and, and so when you order the clutch, you just tell them you want this kind of weight. Tell them every fucking thing you know about your bike, how big the tires are, if you can weigh them and the wheels. Uh, that's good too. They'll they'll take all that information and then tell them how you ride and what you want out of it, and they'll send you a dialed in setup. When it comes to STM, they never miss. QSC, pretty damn good right out of the box too. If you tell them what you got it, you yeah. want to set up for. Um, how adjustable can like how much can you adjust them? Oh, very much, very like? much. Yeah, yeah. Guys are forever playing with them, trying to get perfect recipes. You know what I mean? Just ask Keith. <laughs> All right, let's what get do you the find other the one. Between the stage uh, three Elkas and the uh, the Fox shocks that come. Well, on for for the ones that come on that one, it, it, they were real rigid, right? They didn't have the dual rate springs or anything like that. But this one, they've made great improvements, huge improvements on the suspension. So I don't know if I, if I had a brand new one, I, I wouldn't even swap, I don't think. I mean, unless you're really looking for uh, a softer ride, right? Okay. But I found this one doesn't really bottom out like the other one did on the stock.
keep your helmet on. Oh, you don't have a fucking full face. <laughs> that ain't gonna work for you, bud. Just walk in, tell me for God. Pull the wrist of the curve.
how you warm them up. You got them ready for the day anyways, eh? Yep, I did. So you turned a 1000 XXC into a little bit of a mud monster? I did. It's probably the better idea, you know. I had to take advantage of the COVID prices and sold the 18. Well, we've been talking about it for a long time and it's like the XXC with the... You almost want it'll keep you on top probably a little longer without that low end dig straight I to the I'd bottom. Be able to wind it out further than the XMR. That's what I was thinking, right? Yeah. You know, keep you on top for that that little bit of length longer. You know, and everybody I've seen use them once you clutch them, it's like they they almost do work better. I think they do. You know. This will be my first time trying in the skag with this one. Yeah. Last time I came here, it was way too much soft water. I couldn't even get yeah. in. So I didn't try it. But it's the same clutching that was in my XMR. Yeah. Like I left my QRC the same. Ready. 